traders there, that's it for me today. I have a losing day, as you can see here, I'm down just over 10 grand. I had two losing tra trades in NEO. One of them was very small, the other one was a bit bigger. And uh, a losing trade in uh, Tesla. Now, as you can see here, it's not a terrible day for me. I do have three losing trades and one of my rules is I do not continue after three consecutive losing trades. And, you know, one of the reasons I'm having a tough day today is because it's the first day back to trading after three weeks being on the boat, did not trade for the past three weeks. And one of my rules, also an important tool, which I think you should uh, also consider in case you do what I did today, means meaning coming back after a long period of uh, being away from trading, is to lower your size. So m my starting size today was approximately 50% of my regular size. And, you know, I do feel like I want to click the buttons when I'm back to trading after several weeks of uh, being away. But I am aware of the fact that I'm a little bit too anxious to start trading again. And I like the fact that I'm back to trading. And that does not create a good atmosphere for trading. It, in fact, creates quite a risky atmosphere for trading. Now, if I was a bit more lucky uh, with market direction or the stock that I picked, then fine. I, I could have had a green day, but I am aware that uh, the day when I return to trading after several days of being away is uh, more likely to be red than green. Well, that's my experience, my personal experience. I don't know about your experience. I mean, I would love to know if you want to share that with me and you want to write it down here. Then I wonder how do you guys feel after you come back to trading after several weeks of being away. Now take a look at the S&P 500. I've got it right here in five minute candles. The S&P 500 started with a big gap down today. I was expecting a gap and go, meaning a first move up and then it should have came down, which it did. It did, but I was expecting a continuation. Now, if I had this continuation, continuation once I shorted Tesla, which really did touch my target, but did not continue over, then I guess that if the market would have behaved as it should have, meaning continue to come down, then, I mean, just being a little bit more lucky, and I guess I could have had some uh, green trades. But anyway, as you can see the S&P so far, it's just going sideways. And when the market's going sideways, doesn't matter, I mean, the fact that it started with a big gap down, it's helpful, but it just continued to go sideways, and that's a very hard atmosphere to trade. So. Uh, I am aware that uh, after coming back to trading after several weeks being away, I have to reduce my size. That I'm, I'm probably not as you know quick and 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 and, and, and aware of everything that's happening and uh, doing the right things. And it takes some time to come back. So again, reduce size, take less risk, and uh, well, and the market did not help. So altogether, I've got a red day. And uh, hopefully tomorrow is going to be better. I will um, be here tomorrow and of course uh, the next few weeks. I am planning, planning another, uh, another sailing uh, period on the 1st of August. So until then, I'm here. And uh, hopefully we're going to have a better day tomorrow on the next days. I mean, actually, Scott and, uh, and Yogi nailed it today. I did not. So all the best. Thank you very much for joining us. If you're on YouTube and you'd like to give us a thumb up, we would really appreciate that. And uh, thank you all for participating. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye, traders.